welcome to Mr. Teach Film Preach, and if you're a film lover like I am, you're a horror film lover like I am, and you learn from films as much as I do, then you are in the right place. And if you're in the right place, click like down below and subscribe to my channel. Comment below, what did you think of these two films, Bodies, 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 and Smile? Which one of these two were your favorite? Which one did you prefer? And while you're down there, click like and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that bell button notification to notify you when I have released more content out here. Today, I'm actually doing a double feature. The first film we're reviewing today is the 2022 horror thriller suspense film, Smile. Written and directed by Parker Finn, starring Sosie Bacon, Jesse T. Usher, Kyle Gallner. The story of this psychiatrist who experiences this really strange occurrence with one of her patients one day and she dies under crazy strange circumstances believing that there's something out there that is trying to get her after the death of the patient the doctor herself begins to see the same things that her patient was just describing this smiling face and trying to do my creepiest smile right now and it's kind of hurting my eyes oh my eyes she sees them as a smiling person she begins to unravel this mystery behind this smile this movie has some great scares there were times where i was not expecting it at all I'm so glad i'm in a room full of people a patient in your care died brutally in front of you i need to find an explanation for what happened i thought the main actress in this film did a great job pulled off this part really well was really engaging you could feel her strife and her anger and her craziness and her hallucinations really get invested with this character you dive deep in with her she was really well casted for this part because you need an actress who you liked but also you were maybe unsure of at times some great special effects and some awesome body horror thought they pulled off the scary smile and like the creepiness and there was a little bit of cgi but not too much there are some other parts where there is a little bit more of cgi used but it was never overabundant it was never too crazy and i thought the director and the special effects artists and the cinematographer did a really great job of blending them it's a pretty simple story but I thought it was executed fairly well. Now, people are saying that this is like the scariest movie ever. I didn't think it was quite up to that par. I wasn't as invested as I think other people in the theater were really getting into it. And for one simple reason, because this the story is set around a psychiatrist set in, you know, in a hospital in a, in a psych ward, things may seem like they're really there or they're not. And that's a part of the charm of the movie. So I knew right away from the beginning frames of the movie, to not trust anything I see because everything could be fake and everything could be real. So I just knew there was going to be a lot of twists and rugs pulled out from us. <laughs> a lot of things in this movie, as I said, surprised me, but it was the scares, like the pop out moments that surprised me, not the storytelling itself. An example I can compare it to would be The Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense does have a few scary pop out moments, but not too many. But the twist at the end, the whole story itself, the mood, of the film is scary, where I felt this was the opposite. I knew I couldn't trust it from the beginning. It's a deterrent against the film because it doesn't set you up for success in the first place. It does follow a lot of the same tropes, the same premise, the same concept ultimately, as another film that came out a few years ago, which is one of my cult favorite classics at this point, is called It Follows. And I think Smile took a lot of things from It Follows, and incorporate into their film. Filmmakers steal from each other all the time. But I had a hard time not comparing this movie to It Follows. It Follows kind of did it a little bit better. And that's unfortunate because this movie does have some great parts. There, there was some characterization in this film that I was a little questionable about. Sometimes the script didn't make sense or I had a lot of things that I was going, there's a really easy way to get out of this situation, but they don't address it in the film. There's a twist at the end and it just wasn't great. I, I thought it really was a poor execution the last five, six minutes of the film. It dragged as well. This movie is at an hour and 55 minutes, almost two hours, way too long for this story. This is a short story idea that has been elongated into a film. But overall, this movie is really entertaining. It is a lot of fun. You will have a good time. It is scary at parts. There are some great pop-up moments, some terrific performances. I did enjoy it. And I think you will too. So I'm going to go ahead and give Smile a B. And the second film on the double feature list is the 2022 film Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Directed by Helena Rijan, this is a film about a bunch of friends getting together for a night of drinking and partying and fun and drugs, 
and doing a little bit of a party game that ends up going wrong. And then there's a dead body discovered, trying to figure out who's the killer and what's happening amongst these group of friends. Silence! Oh, Stop. Who wants to play bodies, bodies, bodies? Yeah! This movie was so much fun. Really interesting take on the horror genre, who done it, killer film. And I just love some of the commentary that this film is making about that. Why are you gaslighting me? <laughs> you are so toxic. <laughs> relax, relax. You're silencing me. And I thought it was executed extremely well. I thought it was well made, it was well directed, it was shot really cool. It had a beautiful set design, even though it's set really in this one house. It was so engaging and captivating and that that's the best part about having movies or or plays or something set in one room or one house one location is that you get invested in the atmosphere and how it feels the tone and you just can't escape you can't get out it's a smart and intelligent way to make a modern horror film the performances are hilarious and scary and great amanda stenberg rachel senna pete davidson maria bakalova Lee Pace and a bunch of others are so great in this film. This movie is written so intelligently. It is executed well. I didn't know what was happening the entire movie right up until the last five minutes of this movie. I had no clue what was happening. This movie does that whodunit with a murder mystery with a horror film twist so well. It is done not in a cheap or contrite way. I just thought they executed it beautifully. The set design, the look of this movie, the the neon lights and just the, the production is great in this film. The soundtrack and the sound effects were awesome and just really matched the tone of this film. A simple idea, but the story and the way they tell it is, is intricate, really layered. And I love that about these complicated horror films that tell more than just a murder mystery story or just a serial killer story. This is a really fun film to sit through. I don't know how rewatchable it is just because of what happens at the end. No spoilers. No one third way through the movie and you're like, whoa, what is happening? And this is crazy and it just keeps building 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 and getting crazier 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 and crazier it is engaging and fun but thrilling and enticing and scary all rolled into one there are some times where i was like why doesn't everybody just do this or but that's kind of all horror movies so it's hard for me to say that about this film because i just feel like that's my relationship with horror movies in general you just have to sort of shut your brain off at times just enjoy what's happening in front of you so don't think about this movie too too hard because it will drive you nuts at times it's only like an hour and 35 minutes long it's a short movie so much of this movie relies on the ending this is one of those films like it starts really well it has a great middle it has an awesome getting to the climax the heightened action and then i was like this movie's gonna rely on the ending. It has to stick its landing here. If it doesn't nail this ending, this movie's gonna be total trash. They did pull off the ending and it's great, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah! Overall, you're gonna have a great time with this movie. Good luck trying to guess what actually happens at the end. I had so much fun, I think all of you will too. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Bodies, Bodies, Bodies an A minus. <laughs> What did you think of these two films? Which one of the two did you love more than the other? Are you a Smile fan? Are you a Bodies, Bodies, Bodies fan? Or maybe you're a fan of both. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And while you're down there, click like and subscribe my channel for more content. I would love that so much. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also hit that bell button to notify you when I'm releasing other videos. Thank you so much for checking out Mr. Teach Film Preach. I hope you had a great time. Come back and check out some other films like Barbarian, The Woman King, and Bros. Come back and check out some other films, and we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there, stay focused, and as always, let's get taught.